Good morning. This is Tom Connolly, your principal at St. Jacinto Elementary School. I just wanted to go over a couple things that we covered in our meeting yesterday, uh, in our weekly meeting, um, where we are talking about Google extensions. And so I'm putting this here on the screen for you. I'm recording this and we're sending it out to the entire district in case somebody is interested in this. But if you haven't started using Chrome yet, um, this would be a reason why you want to use Chrome. And even though this may not cover everything that you need to know, it'll give you a good starting point or at least maybe it'll get your, your curiosity about what you can do with Google Chrome. As you can see, I'm on an Apple. I've got six items listed here. You may want to write them down. If not, you can always rewind the video uh, back to the screen and you can see these items again. Um, but I will cover all six of these in this, this short video. I'm not using Safari anymore and on your PC um, I would recommend that you quit using Internet Explorer in exchange for this item over here. This is Google Chrome. It looks like an old Simon Says game that you could have bought in the 80s. And so I'm going to go ahead and open up Google Chrome and we're going to look at these extensions uh, and I'll explain an extension in just a moment. Adblock Plus, TLDR, Google Translate, Sound Gecko, Shorten Me, and Google Hangouts. All of these are awesome tools that will help you in your personal life and in your private life. Um, if you just do a simple search in your search bar and you type in Google Apps, um, or whenever you go to, if you're just in your search, if I go here and I'm looking in my search, I've got Google Search, and this is what we are typically do when we go to Google. We can go to this website, but you need to log in, and that's why you can see my information up here. I got a picture, it's got my name. You need to log in or create an account with Google, just like you do for your Gmail, and you can use the same Gmail login. And then uh, when you go to their web store, um, or if you go to their uh, to your apps. Um, I've added apps because I've taken gotten some uh, apps out of the web store and so I can go down here and click on the web store or I can type in Chrome apps in my search and they will it will bring you to the to this page here the Chrome web store and you can search for apps they've got games they've got all types of stuff just like the App Store does for Apple or the Play Store has for your Android device. I'm gonna close up the apps and we're gonna focus on extensions and any of the six items that I went over uh, at the beginning on that list um, you would type them in here it'll bring you to that page and you can upload them so let me show you what some of those do uh, the first one that I would tell you to get is that ad block plus and I'll just show you that one how do you upload that well you just start typing it well there's ad block plus it'll bring you to some apps and some extensions I would recommend that you upload it it's free everything on this page is free um, but these extensions, what this does will block those unwanted advertisements. If you go to YouTube and you hate waiting on that, that 30 second or one minute uh, advertising video that comes up, it will keep that from popping up. Um, it, it will do a lot of things to help you out. So that's one. Um, a second one, let's say I was reading an, an article and so this is about that missing airplane uh, out in the Indian Ocean and there's a lot of information here. I'm going to use that second app and it's called TLDR. <clears throat> when I click TLDR, my screen will think for a few minutes and TLDR stands for too long, didn't read. And so when it's finished thinking in a minute, it's going to pop up to a screen and it will have a summary of this article that highlights the main points. You can use this for instruction when you're teaching summary or you can just use it to save time. Um, not only will it give you the option to read the summary, as you can see right here, uh, this is much shorter than the article, but you can come over to the left side here and you can choose the short version of the article if you want a little bit more information, or you can work your way all the way back to an original length. But this is a very handy uh, little app that will help you uh, save time when you're trying to read information. So let's say I have this article and I want to do something else. I'm going to go up here to another extension, um, and that's these little icons up here. And another extension would be Google Translate. And Google Translate helps me because it will drop down this bar, and I get the option of all of these languages. I'm going to choose Spanish, and I can instantly turn this entire article into Spanish. So you can see how that could be helpful to you in an educational setting if you have people that are in your class that can only read Spanish. 
So then I'm going to move to another item that is very helpful, and that was Sound Gecko. And if I go to Sound Gecko, that's this little green speaker up here, and I click on Sound Gecko, and it will drop down this little item here, and it says Send to Sound Gecko. Well, I can send this article to Sound Gecko. It says get your article it will arrive shortly and so in a few minutes it will send it to me on email you'll need a little bit of setup on this for it to work properly but it will email you an audio copy of this article so if you got a long commute home and you want to hear something rather than read it you can play it back in your car later on uh, if you want kids that are struggling to read to be able to read something uh, you can get anything sent back to you that you can see on Chrome through Sound Gecko there's other tools that will help you also. I also want to point out that um, we have another one here called Shorten Me. It looks like three dots. If I really want somebody to see this article but I don't want to have to cut and paste this long list of information here and I want to send it on an email, I can always go to Shorten Me. I can click on it and it will shorten it to this small uh, URL right here and it also copies it in my clipboard so I don't have to cut and copy it I can automatically just paste it if I want to get real high tech it gave me a QR code that students could scan to get back to this article so anything that you want people to uh, go to on the internet and you wanted to be high tech and use a QR code this is a tool that will help you do that you also can automatically save things to Google Drive by uploading your Google Drive you can um, take screenshots by using uh, any of, of the screenshot tools. If you type in screenshot, there will be several extensions that you can use. So the last item I have here is Google Hangouts. And I'm going to click on Google Hangouts and it's going to pop up this neat little item here. I can video conference with up to eight people at the same time. So if you needed a conference with a parent and you didn't want them in your room or they can't be in your room or if, if there's a custody issue and the two parents don't want to be in the same room you could do that here. But you can also use this as a telephone. If you click on this little down arrow you can say call a phone and when you click on that all you got to do is type in the name if you've got them in your contacts already or you can just type in the phone number and it can anonymously call a phone if you'd like to prank call uh, Loretta Broussard at the admin office and ask her if she has Dr. Pepper in a can uh, this way she can do it and she will never know who it was that was calling her uh, just kidding don't don't bug Loretta that way she's always the most uh, uplifting phone call you'll have but just just for your information this could become very helpful to you uh, in your classroom well that's all that I have I'll, I'll try to get some more information out later on Google Hangouts have a great day